Today I'm going to show you how to never run out of ideas and generate them in just five minutes using ChatGPT. In the last three years of creating content, I noticed that to grow a big audience, you need a relevant idea or a topic. It is the most important thing that lets you express the uniqueness of your brand. And this is crucial right now because everybody's making content, but few people are truly unique. And those who are unique, those people get attention and grow. The problem is that most of you rely on your mind for having ideas, which is like standing on earthquake infested lands. It's not stable or predictable because you have to rely on your mind having inspiration all the time. And I'm not even talking about people who have no inspiration at all. Those people are just standing in the desert waiting for their two ideas to dry up before saying, oh, I'm not that type of creative person and quitting. If you're going to make content, you need to be able to generate ideas on demand. And this means that you can set a timer, focus and bang out months worth of content in just 30 minutes and today i'm going to help you do just that using ai and after this video you'll be able to use chat gpt to generate your personalized topics in less than five minutes and i'm going to give you my exact prompts that i use for my content and all that for free so make sure you stick around till the end to get them let's dive in the point of all content on social media is to get your audience to do these three things to get to know you to get to like you and to get to trust you and this is all you need so your audience can buy what you have to offer the first type of content is actionable content and this is the content that your audience can be able to put into practice right now so you need to get them new information or instructions on how they can implement something immediately so things like steps lists tools frameworks and tips and the point is to get people from point a to point b with your tips the second type is analytical content and these are breakdowns using analysis systems and processes and with this type of content your audience needs to see you support your ideas with numbers and examples so things like trends reasons graphs, statistics, everything that will help your audience see a new way of thinking through supported evidence and data. The next type of content is aspirational content. And this is pure storytelling. This is you showing how you and other people put your ideas into practice to show people what's possible. So things like lessons, mistakes, reflections, stories, advice to past self and warnings. And this type of content is used to help the viewer take an idea and then connect the dots and see what's possible and motivate them. And the last type of content is anthropological content, which is more on the psychology side. I call it the human nature content. And it's things like observations, comparisons, dealing with failure and success, human nature, and things like that. And this type of content mostly helps people understand the mindset behind the profession and why something is the way it is and why it happens. Okay, now that you know the types of content that you'll be making, let's get into what you need to know before we generate your ideas. Please take a pen and a piece of paper and write down the things I tell you right now. Write down your target audience who do you want to attract think age gender occupation pain points current situation things like that the more detailed the better the next thing to do is to write down your accomplishments so all the accomplishments you've made so if you lost 50 pounds add that to the list if you're a veteran add that to the list if you're a big jacked guy that's been training for 20 years add that to the list also because these are the things that we're going to use to make your content unique. And the last thing to write is your personal information and write down everything you know about your personal beliefs, values, worldviews, and everything else that you need to add. This will take around 30 minutes, give or take, but it's the only work that you need to do actually. So like after this, there is no work. And once you have this, we can move on to the next step. Open up ChatGPT, listen carefully and enter this prompt that I will say right now, word for word. Please read this. And once you understand, reply with the word yes. A personal brand that grows on social media has four core elements I call the four A's framework. The four A's framework consists of first A, actionable content, second A, analytical content, the third A, aspirational content, and the fourth A, anthropological content. When you create these four types of content, it bridges the viewer from a stranger to a diehard fan. It's broken down like this. Actionable content is when you talk about things that you can implement right now. The watcher should gain a new insight and new instructions that they didn't have beforehand. For example, if I was a fitness coach when ChatGPT was trending, I could create content on how to use ChatGPT in five ways to create a nutrition plan. Proven approaches for this type of content are tips, tools, hacks, advice, resources, frameworks. 
The second A in the four A's framework is analytical content. And this is the content where you break down things using numbers, systems, and processes. You take your core idea and support it with examples, numbers, and analysis. It includes things like trends, numbers, reasons, examples, and breakdowns. The third pillar of the four A's framework is aspirational content. Aspirational content is when you talk about stories of how you or others put your core ideas into practice. Examples of this type of content are lessons, mistakes, reflections, personal stories, stories of growth, advice to past self, and warnings. When you create aspirational content, you help the reader understand what's possible and help them put things into practice. The last part of the 4A's framework is anthropological content. Anthropological content are things that speak to universal human nature, digging layers beneath what's easily seen. Some examples are fears, failures, struggles, paradoxes, observations, comparisons, and why you have been misled. This type of content helps the reader understand why why something is the way it is and the psychology behind it. Okay, so this was the first prompt and it is here to educate ChatGPT on what we want him to make, to give him some context. See how we gave it the info about the content types and that's exactly what we want. We want to educate ChatGPT so that it can learn the information we give it. But the next step is to take the next prompt and customize it with the information that we've written before. Here's some information about me. Authority. You list out as many bullet points on your accomplishments, social proof, and the results you've gotten for yourself or your clients that you've written before. Personal. You list out as many bullet points on your personal worldviews, opinions, and interesting things you've experienced. Once you understand, reply with yes. This second prompt helps ChatGPT understand who you are and your unique experiences, worldviews, and ideas behind you so it can customize your topics to yourself. And now we go on to the third step and the next prompt says this my target audience is then you insert the details about who your targeting audience is so gender age occupation goals pain points typical day in life and current situation once you understand reply with yes and this third prompt helps chat gpt understand who we want to attract so that it can even more customize our own topic ideas and you only have one step left and it's to copy and paste the last prompt my goal is to create short form video content for social media that makes my target avatars know, like, and trust me. Using the 4A's framework, please ask me 15 questions for each category of the 4A's framework that does this. You can use the information I gave you about me to help, but feel free to ask questions outside of that. The questions you ask me should set me up so I can answer them with a soundbite that's under 60 seconds. And after you do this, you should see ChatGPT generate around 60 questions, which are your topics and your questions to answer in your videos. But wait, it's not over yet. If you leave now, you won't know how to actually make shorts out of these topics. And there's only one step left. So listen up. Set up a camera and a mic like I did right now. And if you don't have all this fancy equipment, don't worry. The phone will do just fine. That's about 30 days worth of content if you're posting two times a day or 60 days if you're posting only once. Now state and answer each and every one of those questions in front of a camera like I'm doing right now. And the good thing about this is that you can make your own style of answering however you you want. For example, I do these while looking at a monitor with a camera side view so that it looks like I'm with somebody on a Zoom call, but you can also do these with a friend that asks you questions behind a camera and then you answer them. It will sort of look like this. But you know, always play around, see what works for you, be creative, and these should be really, really easy to film because you know the answers off the top of your head and you're going to be unique because these questions are unique and they will bring out your unique personality out of you. And as always, if you need any help regarding things like filming topics or prompts you can always message me on instagram and i will shoot you a message back and don't forget that i left these prompts for free link in the description so you can just copy and paste them and get your ideas from chat gpt i'm also preparing a social media scaling program for entrepreneurs who want to scale their content and grow their audience but i'll keep you posted on that with more info to come soon that's it if you got value from this video subscribe and thank you for watching bye